Yo, what's going on, guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to go over some epic GPU deals that are available right now. GPUs are finally beginning to be available at great prices. We're talking 6 gigabyte 1060s for $200. There was an RX 580 8 gigabyte model available for 240 yesterday, which is absolutely ridiculous for an 8 gigabyte 580. I saw a GTX 1080 available yesterday for 450, and then earlier today there was one available for 399 on EVGA's official website. Unfortunately, a lot of these have gone out of stock. There's still a couple of good deals still available, but really it's just an indictment on the better state of the GPU market as opposed to say six, seven months ago. And with rumblings of new GPUs on the horizon, hopefully by this holiday season, we can just finally put that GPU price spike behind us and we can go back to a world that is more familiar to us. Maybe I'll even get back to doing PC builds because then prices would be around an acceptable range. Also after that, I want to talk about CD Projekt Red and them hinting at going back into the Witcher franchise. Of course, CD Projekt Red is very busy with Cyberpunk 2077, but at some point, we are all hoping they do revisit the Witcher franchise. However, if you're looking for a Witcher 4, CDPR CEO says that you won't be getting that. More on that in a little bit. First, let's talk about all of these great GPU deals. Now, eBay had the insane GPU deals, I believe, yesterday because they were running a site-wide 10% off discount code, so you stack that with a lot of GPUs, and you were getting some pretty busted deals. For example, Newegg has a Sapphire Radeon RX 580 8GB listed right now for 270 that's already pretty good but this was available yesterday too and if you use that 10 percent off discount code you literally got it for 242 and an 8 gigabyte 580 for 242 is quite good another very good deal over on newegg's official website right now is a bundle you can get an asrock phantom gaming x rx 580 that's an 8 gigabyte gpu and along with that they throw in a free asrock ab350 pro 4 am4 motherboard newegg values that at around 90 dollars let's value that at even 70 dollars and that means you get the GP for 230 so that's a really good buy if you're looking to build a new rig. A good motherboard and then a great GPU on top of that, 300 for both of those together. Yes, it's not absolutely ideal where you get the GPU standalone, but still for new builders, that is a fantastic option to go with. There was another 6 gigabyte 1060 with the blower cooler, that was down to 190 and I should mention that EVGA is celebrating their 5th anniversary in 5 days, so expect a lot of great sales to come from that. And also, Prime Day is on the horizon, so I'll keep you guys updated with that, but I would expect some really, really great GPU deals in the coming weeks and coming days even. Go bookmark r slash build a PC sales. Go sign up for Newegg's newsletter. I would highly recommend to hound eBay at all times and you can really snag up some good deals right now if you are looking for a new GPU. And as I mentioned, there are good deals available right now. As long as they're still available by the time this video is uploaded, that 580 with a motherboard for $300 is great. That 580 on Newegg for 270 yes, a little bit expensive. Yes, not as good of a deal as it was yesterday but still pretty decent and then there was an asus radeon rx 580 so just all around a lot of positive stuff just be in tune with how the market is going and you can get great deals on gpus very easily you just have to be very quick on your feet about it but they are regularly available for a four to six hour window you just have to capitalize within that window and hopefully as the market gets better and better when new gpus are released that window is just going to get bigger and bigger to the point where things are just going to go back to the way they were at least that is the hope that has been the hope for what 16 months now maybe 14 months it's been a long long time all right so i'll leave a link to that rx 580 from ebay as well as the bundle with the motherboard in the description box down below so take advantage of that if you want and moving on from that i also want to talk a little bit about the witcher series possibly making a comeback now obviously the witcher put cd project red on the map the witcher 3 is considered by many to be one of the best rpgs of all time and of course cd project red is very busy with cyberpunk 2077 but so many gamers also want to see them go back to the witcher but but if you want a Witcher 4, that's not what you're going to get. CD Projekt Red CEO Adam Kaczynski spoke about the possibility about another Witcher game, and he was specifically asked about a Witcher 4, and here's what he said. The first three Witchers were by definition a trilogy, so we simply could not name the next game The Witcher 4. This does not mean, of course, that we will leave the world of The Witcher created by us for over a dozen years. The Witcher is one of two franchises on which to build in the future activities of the company. Today, unfortunately, I cannot reveal anything more. Based on that statement, he clearly leaves the door open for another Witcher game. You just have to accept the fact that CD Projekt Red spends a lot of time developing their games. How long has Cyberpunk 2077 been in development for? And this game is probably not going to come out until 2020. If they do do another Witcher title, I would not expect it until 2023, 2024, 2025, around that time frame, because that's how much time is spent on these games. So everything they say is very preliminary. Now, the difference with The Witcher and Cyberpunk is that they already have the foundation of the universe built for The Witcher. They did not have that with Cyberpunk 2077. This 
is a brand new IP, so to just create that foundation took a very long time, and then you have to create the game as well. Yes, with a brand new Witcher game, you would have to introduce a new cast and brand new characters, but you still have that universe in place and everything that goes with it. So it would be a bit easier, at least that's what I would think, but The Witcher 4 is still so far out. I just want to see Cyberpunk 2077 for now. I want to see that gameplay demo that everybody's been talking about coming from E3. It was behind closed doors, but all the press are allowed to talk about it, so figure that out. Hopefully we see that demo soon, but if you are crossing your fingers for a new Witcher game, at some point, I do believe it will happen, and this statement by Adam Kaczynski really points to that. So that is going to conclude this video, guys. As I mentioned, some great GPU deals are being readily available, and an RX 580, especially an 8GB model, was one of those GPUs that a couple of months ago, it was impossible to find for a good deal, but right now, we have two pretty decent deals available. EVGA is going to be celebrating their 19th anniversary in five days, so I would imagine some good deals as a part of that, as well as Amazon Prime Day, and I will keep you guys updated with all of that information. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.